You were a rubbish shot anyway. There's no point being head of training if you don't get your boots dirty now and then. What's with the Aztec headgear? What, this? Oh, I just wanted to look like one of those Latino wrestlers you kids are all into. Did you really have to deploy that tank against me? I don't know why you're complaining. You've had six weeks holiday. And you've topped the training review again with a record score. Now, get back to school. Daisy and Blaine have gone and your two new teammates will be waiting in class. See if you can spot them. Welcome back, boys and girls. A new year and a new term. Now, register. Davina Berry? Yeah. Donovan Butler? Yeah. Oscar Cole? Huh? Avril Franklin? Yes. Rose Gupta? Yes, sir. Hello, Rose. Timothy Hinklebottom? Be upstanding. For his coolness. Scoop. Doggy. Cope. I like to chill, but I'm picking up a breeze in here. Harry Stewart. Here. And this one. This one was for the beam exercise. Frank must have been joking. <laughs> Sir, I have to take this month's rainfall readings. All right, Rose. Deep cover. Control explosions. Daisy and Blaine weren't the only ones to get reassigned. Where exactly have they gone? They're heading up Unit Alpha, training more young spies like yourselves. We may be a new and untested team, but the world's villains won't know what's hit them. Rose's brilliant mind has already saved the UK on countless occasions. Carrie's not just a top gymnast. Put her in against an army of kung fu monks and she'll eat them for breakfast. Only if I'm hungry. Oscar speaks 14 languages, specialist in surveillance, expert in deep cover ops. His mum was one of MI9's top agents. Your mother's a spy. I says mine, but not for the government. Right. Don't you want to know about your first mission together? The 21st century faces a new kind of threat. Old school spies have had their day, and MI9 must create a new breed of skilled undercover agent. Hidden in a place no villain will think to look. Welcome to MI High. The world's great monuments are being defaced, and you're the only ones that can save them. They're being covered in provocative artwork. It either mocks the host country or says the UK's got something much better. 
to be the suspect. They're all signed by a British graffiti artist, name of Cranky. He's the guy who's famous for no one knowing who he is. I guess the nations involved are angry with Britain. Oh, very. And we can't have that because there's a major world conference coming up. The countries need to work together to defeat the Grand Master. The UK wants everyone to sign a new anti-skull treaty. But with everyone blaming Britain for the graffiti, well, there's no chance. So you want us to find Cranky? And stop him and his aerosols. Exactly. To help, MI9 have sent this new gadget. This is great. The Rumbler. Attach it to the palm of your hand, and it sends secret text messages. There's a small vibration alert. That is so clever. The Anti-Skull Treaty needs to be signed in six hours. It's a tight deadline. Let's go. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Her CV was most impressive. Not that there's any trouble to shoot here, of course. Morning, Flatley. I'm Mrs. King, your new deputy head. <laughs> now, a new curriculum more suited to our needs. I've suggested we scrap art lessons and concentrate instead on the three R's. Um, reading, rhyming and running? Reading, writing and arithmetic. It's time we equipped these kids for the real world. Here at St. Hopes, we don't believe in restricting our ambitions. For us, the sky is the limit. Last year's exam results were the limit. Mrs. King, expression is what young minds need. You have done well. I have one last commission for you. It will totally destroy the reputation of the talentless Cranky and make Britain the pariah of the civilized world. Ensuring their anti-skull treaty is never signed. <laughs> Frankie's graffiti is made with an aerosol. The particle distribution pattern tells me he's left-handed. <clears throat> Yuck! Fumes. He always sprays the same distance from the object. 0.3 meters. Everything's done with a Zambro brand car spray with ultra-fine nozzle. Wow. Rose, that's amazing. Sorry, but it doesn't prove anything. It could easily be someone faking Cranky Star. He kind of does have a point. Thanks. And I thought I knew a little about spying. Yeah, but so do we. We passed our training program with flying colours. Training isn't field work. Uh, arguing won't get us anywhere. Let's focus on the mission. I'm confident the artist making the graffiti is Cranky. If Rose is right, then we need to flush Cranky out. Before he sets the whole world against us. Fail! 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 Look! A new initiative to nurture the creativity of our youngsters. A 2% pass rate in written English. I'm entering their paintings into the National Schools Art Contest. So, eyes open for any budding Picassos, please. My proposed new timetable, focusing on the three R's. Why don't we have a challenge? If a pupil from St. Hope's wins a prize in your art competition, we'll continue with the old curriculum. And if not? We do things my way. A wager? How exciting! Hours of research and all we've come up with is that Cranky's allergic to seafood. So not useful. We might find out more if one of us went out graphing with Scoop Doggy and his posse. Scoop? He can't even spell his own initials. We're looking in totally the wrong circles. You've got a better plan, I suppose? Actually, I have. Cranky's first famous piece was called Wardrobe with Attitude. He always regretted selling it. I've arranged for it to be put on display with some of his other work. 
He won't be able to resist coming to see it again. How come Oscar gets to be the owner? Right, got your Rumbler gadget? Let's get up. The crackers with them, black comment jam good. It's called caviar. Tell me, what do you, an ordinary little person, make of this so-called art? No need to be nervous, dear. I just want an opinion. I'm an art critic, you see. Talentless nobody. This belongs in a skip, not a gallery. Trying to score a few snacks. I'm a student. Sorry. Tuck in. The gallery is loaded. What if he doesn't show? He'll show. That's very good. Excellent use of cover. Spirit Timothy. <laughs> Art will triumph. Ooh, a horrid, spooky scarecrow. <laughs> it's Oscar. Ah. I'm trying to paint what's on the inside. <laughs> Mrs. King. <laughs> Some real talent flowering here. I'm sure you're going to really enjoy my new curriculum. Start again, Donovan. Hi, Mac. Result, he's left handed. Yeah, but now let's see about the seafood allergy. I've hidden prawns in those olives. Are you okay? questions for you. We just want to help. Good cop, bad cop. Textbook. Now watch them turn up the heat. It would be easier if you just tell us everything you know. Because if not, we've ways of making you talk. Cranky, we know you've graphed a load of monuments. <sighs> if you're wondering why you're not getting through, Searching a suspect prior to interview is usual procedure. Okay, Cranky. What makes you think I'm Cranky? We matched your DNA against...